hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials youtube channel today in this video we are going to create a website with animation as you can see on this website here we have some text and button one title and these title description and button are animated you can see these title description and button are sliding from the right side to the left side and its opacity is also changing and you can see some time delay in the animation of description and button in the navigation bar of this website design you can see i have added the hover effect whenever we will take cursor in this navigation bar the background will become white and you can see the different color for these menu links and this logo text so this hover effect is also making this website more attractive so let's start to create this animated website using html and css step by step in this folder i have one html file and one css file and in this another folder i have one logo and one background image now i will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding box sizing and font family for all the html elements and in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect html and css file next we will add code in the body tag so here we will add a div with the class name header next we will add the css for this header so just add this class name in the css file and here we will add some css properties width and height then we will add background image and on this background image there will be a dark layer so here let's add linear gradient and in this one we will add the color code so this is the first color code just add it again after a comma and let's add one more comma here after that we will add url and in this url we will add the file path of the image so it is in the images folder write the folder name images slash write the file name which is back.png after that we will add the background position and background size after adding this just come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser now you can see this image in the background and, and there is one color layer on this image now let's come back to the html file within this header we have to create the navigation bar so here we will add one nav tag and within this nav tag let's add a div with the class name logo and in this logo we will add the img for the image write the file path images slash logo dot png and with this logo there will be one text also so here let's add a text in a span tag and this is the text and just after closing of this div which is for the logo here we will add ul and li in this li we will add a tag so it will be a clickable link and here we will add the link text just duplicate it and change the text after adding all these content in the html file let's refresh the website again and here you can see this logo icon this text and these list next we have to add the css for the navigation bar so let's come back and we will add the css for this nav tag so add this nav tag in the css file and here we will add width so the width will be 100 percent and after that we will add display flex so that all the contents will be side by side justify content will be a space between and align items center after adding this we will add some padding so let me add the padding of 18 pixel from top and bottom and 8 percent from left and right side after adding this you can see this logo and logo text in the left side and these links in the right side now again come back in this nav you can see we have the div with the class name logo 
So just come back to the CSS file and here we will add nav.logo. So for this logo, we will add the display. Display will be flex and align items center. Then we will add font size. Font size will be 26 pixel and font weight. And let's add the color. Color will be white. Now again write the same thing nav.logo and in this logo we have the image with img tag so for this image we will set the width and we will add some space from the right side so margin right it will be 10 pixel after adding this let's refresh the website and now you can see this logo and logo text looks perfect you can see we have the ul and li then a tag for these link text so let's come back to the css here we will add nav ul and li so for this list we will add display display will be inline block and list style will be none then we will add some margin so let me add the margin of 10 pixel from top and bottom and 20 pixel from left and right side just after adding this again refresh the website you can see all these links side by side next we have to change the color and we have to remove this underline let's come back just copy this and paste it again here we will add a tag and for this anchor text we will add text decoration none so it will remove the underline and we will change the color so the color will be white and we will change the font weight so the font weight will be 500 now you can see these menu links looks good next we have to add the hover effect in this navigation bar whenever we will take cursor over this navigation bar the background will become white and we will change the color of these links and this text also so let's come back and here you can see we have added the nav tag so just copy this nav write it here here we will add hover and after hover we will change the background so let's add the background white color now you can see whenever we will take cursor the background becomes white so it is happening very quickly so we have to add some transition so just come back in this nav and here we will add transition background it will be one second now you can see the background color is changing very smoothly next we have to change the color of this text and these link text so let's come back again copy this one and in this one we have the div call logo so for this one we will change the color so the color is triple three and again copy this one in this one we have the ul li and a so for this a tag also we will change the color it will be triple three like this so after adding this again refresh the website and now you can see whenever i will take cursor in this navigation bar this background will become white and these text will become black so we have completed this navigation bar next we will add some contents on this web page that will be a title description and a button so let's come back and uh, here we have the nav closing tag so just after this closing nav tag let's add a div with the class name content now within this content we have to add a title so let me add a title in h1 the future we will add a line break here so here let's add br tag so it will add a line break next we will add a description in p tag so this is the description text after that we will add two links so here we will add a div with the class name links and within this div we will add a tag for the first one and in this a tag we will add the text learn more and let me duplicate it and in the second link i will add the link text or contact like this now 
again refresh the website and you can see this text in the left side then we have the description and these two links so we will add the CSS for these things. So let's come back and you can see we have added the class name content. So first write this class name here in this CSS file and for this one we have to add some space. So let's add some margin from the top. So we will get some space. So margin top will be 9% and let's add some margin from the left side also. So margin left 9%. Then we will change the color also. So it will be white next we will increase the font size for this title let's come back and uh, again copy this class name content write it here and in this content we have the title in h1 so for this h1 we have to increase the font size so let's add the font size of 120 pixel then we will add line height it will be 140 pixel after that we will add font weight it will be 600 now you can see this title looks good next we have to add the css for this description text which is in p tag so again copy this one and here we will add p and for this p we have to add the max width it will be 500 pixel and line height will be 28 pixel after adding this you can see we have the div with the class name links and in this links we have the a tag so let's come back and here we will add dot links for this links we will add some space from the top so we will add margin top it will be 30 pixel after that we will add dot links a and for this a tag let's add the color color will be white then text decoration will be none and display will be inline block so you can see these links it is in white color now we have to add this css in the first link so it will be displayed as a button for that let's come back and in this html file in the first link we will add a class name so let's add a class name called btn so come back to the css file here we will add dot btn and in this one we will add border so the border will be 2 pixel solid and white color so there will be a white color of water and we will add some padding let's add the padding of 10 pixel and 35 pixel then we will add border radius border radius will be 30 pixel and some space from the right side it is 15 pixel now you can see the first link looks good it looks like a button so we have added all the contents and we have designed it using CSS next we have to add the animation in this text which is title description and this button for that let's come back and here we have the title in h1 in this h1 we will add a class name called slide left like this and we will add the same class name in other text also which is this description so in this p tag also we will add this class name slide left and in this links also here already we have a class name called links so write a space and here we will add slide left after adding this next we have to add the css for this slide left so just copy this class name and write it here in this css file for this slide left we have to add animation so i'm adding animation write any name for this animation so i'm writing slide left then we will add the time so it will be for one second linear and the animation fill mode will be forward so here we will add forwards after adding this we have to add the keyframes for this animation so let's add keyframes and slide left and here we will add 0% and 
at zero percent let's add transform translate x 100 pixel like this and we will add opacity 0 so it will be hidden opacity 0 just duplicate it and here we will add 100% at 100% we will see the translate 0 so it will be 0 pixel and after that we will add the opacity 1 like this after adding this again refresh the website and now you can see this text is sliding from the right side to the left side you can see one horizontal sliding is coming to remove this one just come back and at the top in this header we will add overflow x hidden now there will be no horizontal sliding right now these texts are sliding at the same time so we have to add some time delay let's come back and uh, in the CSS file we have the slide left so here we will add p dot slide left for the description and here we will add animation delay animation delay will be one second and again we will add dot links it is for the button dot slide left so for this button we will add the animation delay of two seconds like this after adding this again refresh the website now you can see the animation starts at different time for the title description and button but initially the description and button are visible so we have to hide that one so let's come back and uh, here you can see we have added the links so in this one we will add opacity 0 and we will add the same thing for this description here also we will add opacity 0 that's it after updating this again refresh the website first it will slide the title and after that description and after that button this is how we have easily created this animated website design using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video